Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're here, you're facing some nasty inflammatory acne just as I am right now. And also I have some here on my neck which are really bothering me because they hurt. They hurt a lot and all these problems right here. Now I'm a bit better, but I was worse. This is all caused by hormonal problems. So if you are having the same problems, don't worry, it will pass, it's just a phase, don't lose your confidence, don't lose your happiness, just put a big smile on your face and know that every problem has a solution. So, part of solving this problem is aspirin. This little small tablet will help you decrease your swelling, I use aspirin as my last resort because it's strong and I don't really use it every other day or every month because I don't really have bursts of acne like so. I think this is the first time in like two years since I have a burst like this. Also here, also here on my neck as you can see. This is a very well remedy for uh, inflammatory acne because Aspirin cleans up redness, decreases swelling, and aspirin contains a crystalline compound called acetyl salicylic acid, which is derived from salicylic acid. This is the BHA or beta hydroxy acid that we use to clean up our faces, and uh, I'm sure you already heard of BHA because it's in a lot of products for treating acne. I recommend you to try to use it on a small patch of your skin to see if you're allergic because some people may be allergic to aspirin so that's why first try it on a small portion of your face to see if it's itching or if it's um, turning your face red so then don't use it i don't use it on the whole face because i think it's really strong it ties tightens up the skin and the pores your face will look a little bit dry and you will feel it a little bit too tight just like a corset but it's really worth it i really use it only on my problematic parts of my face and i leave it until the aspirin it dries out completely so since aspirin it's a tablet you need to mix it with something the best liquid to mix it is aloe as i found but if you don't have aloe you can use uh, you can mix it with water to create a a paste so I use it with aloe because aloe also heals the skin it has amazing properties it also helps with the swelling so that's why I mixed it with aloe you will need a glass bowl it's very important for you to use something made out of glass or ceramic but it's not good for the aloe and the aspirin to touch anything plastic or metal so that's why i'm using glass and a ceramic spoon and the next step will be to add aloe if you have a fresh cutting of aloe leaf that would be perfect but i don't have so i um, have a little bit left out of this the body shop aloe gel it's made out of 90% gel from aloe vera and I really like it I don't know if they still sell it but it's not necessary to use exactly this same brand this is just what I have at home I will put just a small amount like so the thing is we don't really have the exact measurements because we just need a texture and I add aloe by knowing the texture I want to have and the texture must be really creamy just like a light mask so of course you know how a mask has the, the texture and the feeling so this is the exact texture I want to have and it's enough because I don't want to apply it all over my face. So I added a little bit of zoom just for you to see my problematic skin. So here it's really, really swollen and also here it hurts, it hurts a lot. So I'm going to show you how it works. 
I will apply it just like this as a paste but I think it's too so if you find it to be too thick then you just add a little bit of aloe to it to be more liquidy and be careful if you have cats aspirin is very dangerous for cats so don't leave it near cats so i only apply it where i have my problematic acne also it hurts i'm telling you guys it hurts a lot so but this will help a lot also with my redness and also with my uh, pain so i will let it dry and after that i will clean it i will come and show you how i clean it but now i will let it sit for about maybe max 10 minutes after that i will clean it up and i will show you what i'm putting on top of it so it's all dried out as you can see i can barely move my lips and also the texture all cracks as you can see so this is the sign that everything is already dried out and you can wipe everything off so what i use to be gentle but also effective to remove all this mask right here it's using a synthetic cloth that i got for i think less than 50 cents and this has the same puffy texture like those makeup remover pads and i also have here some warm water and the first thing i'm going to do is to pat all these uh, all these parts just to make everything more soft and to not scratch my skin i can feel the redness is already uh, a little bit off already but we will see after some time but trust me until tomorrow everything will be perfect it comes off very easily just pat first and after that clean everything And now I'm going to show you my favorite repairing cream ever. This is my second time I bought this tube and also I use it every time I feel I have some skin problem. I use it even after I wax my legs because my legs are very sensitive and I have all those little red bumps and this helps overnight a lot. So it's the Aven Chical Fat Cream, Creme Reparatrice. It's a French brand with thermal water uh, from France. You can find this cream everywhere in Europe, in all the pharmacies or even online. But be careful. There are, I think, five types of chical fat. And this is not the perfect one I wanted to buy, but also this is very good. There are other types. My favorite is the chical fat post act cream. But I... Uh, I didn't knew at that time so that's why I mixed it I didn't knew there were so many varieties of this cream so this is the best repairing cream because it helps with scarring so I had a nasty acne scar right here and I didn't treat it I think I thought it would go away but it didn't so now I'm going to apply all this cream right here since I'm at home I don't mind to be a little bit sticky because it is a little bit sticky but I'm going to apply it everywhere where I used the mask and I'm hoping to heal soon until tomorrow so 
that's it my super fast last resort inflammatory acne treatment i hope you liked it but most of all i hope you will uh, find this uh, video useful and also i hope it will help you with your problem but never forget to smile big kisses take care bye bye